ignition is on I'm gonna go and start the car so basically fuel gauge is pretty nothing showing on the fuel gauge on that corner there fuel light is on also that eye stop is flashing uh, there's a TPMS uh, tire pressure light is on as well uh, and you can see the revs sort of jumps up and down try it again you can watch that revs sort of trend to jump up and down a little bit as it's humming the engine is sort of going up and down like the revs okay and give it five seconds or so five ten seconds and the engine stall all right like that uh, let's go have a look at the report we got on the engine computer PCM we got mass airflow that is me okay uh, I disconnect that sensor quickly when I got the car earlier uh, because Mazda do have a problem with mass airflow sensor I have seen that on CX-5 CX-3 uh, a lot of Mazda models the newer ones after 2010 models I have seen that when they go bad you're gonna have a long cranking sometimes sometimes the car won't even start until you disconnect the mass airflow sensor and the car will run so I was thinking it might make a difference but it didn't make a difference when I disconnect the, the mass airflow sensor so ignore that top two fault code mass airflow and the intake air temperature sensor but this other fault definitely um, definitely was there um, misfire detected with low fuel low fuel level force limited power low fuel level force engine shut down all right that's what I'm interested at here all right I'm gonna start the car car starts you can see the fuel pressure is pretty good it's jumping up and down a little bit desired and the actual but there's some kind of pattern to it right here okay and the engine shut down this is where we started it see this is where I started the engine and as the engine was idling you can see that there's some kind of pattern there so every time the engine noise engine notes changes that that humming noise that the hunting uh, of the engine we can hear engine sort of going mm, mm, like that you can see that on the fuel pressure too you can see that drop every so sort of it's consistent every uh, few seconds every second there there's a consistent drop on the fuel pressure not only that it's following the actual pressure and the desire pressure to each other it's it's following each other so desire fuel pressure it is actually wanted to do that it looks like it's it's not like just the actual fuel pressure is doing it if there's a problem with the fuel supply or fuel system i would say only the top data here fuel rail pressure would be doing that uh, dropping the pressure like that but also on the second um, live data here the desired is also doing exactly same thing so I don't think it's a physically a fuel f issue as in fuel supply issue doesn't look like it and when the engine stopped it almost looked like the engine was trying to shut this engine down it's immediately the pressure drops anyway you can see at the very end that drop right that drop is happening immediately together desire and the actual fuel rail pressure is dropping immediately that's when the engine stall it's almost like the engine is trying to actually stall this engine for some reason that's what it looks like okay maybe on the instrumental cluster let's have a look on the IC there's no trouble cause let's go live data let's see if we can see any fuel tank level or fuel gaze or something like that let's just type in fuel I got fuel sensor input and output uh, I'm just interested in that see it says eight liters which is pretty much empty I would say so but is this data lying to us or is it actual eight liter i'm not too sure here erase that fault everything and let's see what comes back what fault code or does that fix our problem here guys i will just see what happens here 
All right, the PCM didn't clear the fault. Let's see which fault codes are there on the PCM now. All right, we still have the same fault. The mass, for, mass airflow sensor fault code is gone. And I know I created that fault code, but this one's not going away. I want to try it again right at the PCM, see if this helps me clear this fault. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, I cannot clear this fault code, okay? Start the car. See if it's still doing the same. Yeah, still doing the same. I'm gonna quickly go and disconnect the battery. See if that does anything for us. All right, I'm just gonna go in there and disconnect that battery. Like, let's do that. I'll disconnect the battery. We'll just wait a couple of seconds. All right, I'll connect the battery now. Start the car, let's see if that makes any difference. All right, it did make a bit of a difference, guys. I can see that fuel gaze has come up now one bar a two bar right there before it was empty now fuel empty light is still there my eye stop is still flashing my tire pressure light is still there but definitely made a difference there on the fuel gauge guys and the engine hasn't stalled engines uh, revs good engine hasn't stalled and it hasn't do done that uh, humming hunting like the rev was going up and down so definitely made a change here so let's see if we can clear this fault code now let's erase that fault code yep so that lost communication with dc dc converter motor module is still there could be separate issue that could be uh, we could probably do that some other time customer hasn't complained about nothing about charging system or anything so I don't think that's related to your fuel shutting down, the engine shutting down. Uh, let's go to live data and let's see the fuel pressure reading now. See what they're doing now. Fuel pressure and the fuel, desire fuel pressure and the actual fuel pressure. My top one's a desire, uh, actual, the bottom one is my desire. And we're hovering around 40, between 40, 50 let's say around 50 and see now it's not doing that um, dropping that fuel pressure like we had before right so I can rev it up and down plenty of fuel plenty of fuel pressure desired and the actual is following each other I'm pretty happy with that result okay let's go back to my fuel guys on the instrumental cluster and let's see um, let's see what it it's saying there okay trouble codes there's no trouble codes let's go live data okay let's find that fuel level again fuel guys 8 liter fuel guys definitely sitting at 8 liter we were looking at the fuel data before and we saw there was about uh, 8 liters of fuel left in it so I'm just gonna quickly go in there and have a look how much sort of fuel is in the tank. All right. This is our right hand side access hole for the fuel tank, right? And I can see nothing in there, guys. That fuel tank is empty. There's not even a drop. Okay, let's go to the other side. This one does have some fuel. Looks like it's got about, not much. I'll say seven, eight liters. 